Hi, I'm Sensei Kevin. Today we're going to do the one pinyon. It's the first form that most karate students are taught. Each element comprises the entire form. So if one element is weak, then the entire form is weak. If we don't have a good front two knuckle punch, then we will not have a good one pinyon. If we don't have a good downward block, then we will not have a good one pinyon. If we don't have a good half moon stance, then we will not have a good one pinion. If we don't know how to half moon, then we will not have a good number one pinion. This is number one pinyon. Bow. We're gonna step up with our right foot. Oh, do a nice salutation. Left hand comes up. We're gonna to turn towards the left. We shift our weight. Block. Now the right hand punches. Punch. Now the right hand is gonna block. Block. with the left hand. Left hand, lock. Right hand, punch. Left hand, punch. Right hand, punch. Left hand, lock. Right hand, punch. Right hand, lock. Left hand, punch. Left hand, lock. Right hand, punch. This is left hand, walk, right hand, punch, right hand, walk, left hand, punch, and finish. One of the things that a lot of students have difficulty with is most of the time, if we have a punch up, we then use that hand to block. So for example, at the beginning, we block, and now our punch is out, that same exact hand, right now this is my right hand, turns and I block with that same hand. Now when I do the next punch, it's the other hand, my left hand. But now when I do the next block, it's going to be my left hand that just punched. However, after we do three punches, one, two, three, we don't use the same hand this time, we switch hands. So anytime you do three punches, you switch hands. And then we'll turn and we'll block. And then strike again. So every time we punch, we just do one punch, we use that same hand. Every time we do three consecutive punches, we use the other hand to block. Bow. Step up with your right foot. Salutation. Look to your left. Turn and block. Strike. It's a front two knuckle push. Turn and block. Strike. Turn and block. Three front two knuckle punches. One, two, three. Switch hands. Turn and block. Three 
crunch your knuckle crunches again. One, two, three. After three punches, we switch our hands. Turn and walk. Strike. Walk. Strike. And then we come back to our salutation to finish. And bow. Let's try it from another angle. Bow. Salutation. Walk. Strike. Walk. Strike. Walk. One. Two. Three. Switch hands. Turn. Walk. Strike. Walk. Strike. Walk. One. Two, three, switch hands, turn, walk, strike, walk, strike, and finish. Uh, now we'll try here. Back, salutation, walk, strike, walk, strike, walk, one, two, three, switch hands, turn, walk, strike, walk. Strike, walk, one, two, three, switch hands, turn, walk, strike, walk, strike, finish. Now from the back, bow, salutation, walk, strike, walk, strike, walk, one, two, Three, switch hands, turn, walk, strike, walk, strike, walk, one, two, three, switch hand, turn, walk, strike, turn, walk, strike, and finish. One of the things that can be a little challenging in the one pinion is shifting our weight. The first move that we do after we step out into our salutation, we have to shift our weight so that we can move our left foot lightly. We do that several times in this form. A form is like an exercise that helps develop your mind and body. And so the shifting of the weight is making our legs so much more stronger. So we do that quite a bit on almost every movement that we do on one pinion. First we bow. When we step out, we have really good balance and really good weight distribution on our legs. Then we have to shift our weight so this one becomes lighter. And then we'll slide out and block. Every time we half moon, we're shifting our weight so that our other foot, the one that's moving, becomes so much lighter. Then we have to shift our weight again. So on each half moon movement, we are shifting our weight. Sometimes when people learn the one pinion, they're just focused on the arm movements and they forget how important the foot movements are and the leg movements. We want all the movements of the form to be good. Number one, pinyon. Walk, strike, walk, strike, walk. One, two, three, switch hands, turn, Walk, strike, walk, strike, walk, one, two, three, switch hands, turn, walk, strike, walk, strike, and finish with your salutation. And that was the one pinion. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. 
you gotta let me know. Throw some comments down there and like and subscribe.